Welcome back. Today in this video, we're going to be basically teaching you guys how to wall climb part, part two. The other one, I basically taught you guys how to do it like the hug technique where you use two hands. Now I'm going to show you guys one-handed technique. So one good place to practice while I'm about to teach you is you walk up where we just came from down there. Come up here. Then jump here. And then jump here. Sorry the leaves are here, but it's because it's the fall update. You're going to jump and get up here. <clears throat> and then you're going to come right here. And you see there's like kind of a line split down like that. Well, you want to jump on the other side like this. And then one hand, one hand, one hand, one hand. And then that's how you could get away. So let me get back to the top, and I'm going to explain it to you. Speed up! <laughs> it's funny. If you do like this in basketball, it means it's a travel, but the video's speeding up, so I probably sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, that's a Okay. We're back. Okay. So basically, I'm going to explain it like this. You don't want to be on cracks because you could fall off like that. Or at least I do if you're not a professional. And you're going to basically push as far away as you can while trying to stay close to the wall. So you could keep like scraping off the surface kind of. So I'm going to slow down the video to try to explain better. So like one... And then, in the next part, I'm going to do it lower, kind of. I'm going to do it in a low area. <sighs> Sorry. You're going to go like this, and then switch hands. So, naturally, I'm right-handed. So, you should probably do this with the hand that you are best with, but switching positions is kind of hard, so I'm not going to get much into it. But what I like to do is, when I'm about to get to, an, when I'm about to get to like a crack like I told you again, that's when I switch because I don't want to be on that crack. But like, sometimes I could do it left-handed, but I can't do it a long time like with my right hand. Okay, next we're going to go a second location, I reckon. So, you're going to want to do it like I did last time, but you're pushing off. So, <laughs> that's how you do it. So, sometimes I'm able to do it, but sometimes I'm not. But, let's see. If I come up here, it, I could do it better. Look, watch. So, at the crack... And then I keep going. And then, oh. Embarrassing, homie, go back up. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. I just fell because um, I was trying to, I can't, it's hard to play while explaining things. But. So you see the crack down here? You want to avoid that too. So kind of land on the opposite side. And then I did that. And just keep going far. And then, boom, you can get. The key to doing this is some, you got to tell what times you do it. It's so like sometimes you're going to want to make far jumps with one hand, sometimes small jump. And that's really the hard stop part. The hard part isn't really the um, doing it, it's the I understanding. <laughs> Boom. Did you see that? See, like right there. I'm, I'm right-handed, but I did it with my left because I just, you have to use your head sometimes. And then sometimes you'll fail, but like, if someone's chasing you that doesn't know how to wall climb, it comes in handy, even if you're not good at it, you know. So, um, yeah. So, that's basically how to wall climb. <laughs> 